Now that she's close enough to talk, she isn't sure how to start her question. She puts her fingers to her lips, pinches her bottom lip together. I don't want to be nosy, but can I ask why you're taking pictures of the house? The traffic light turns green and the idling cars lurch to life. Well, he laughs and looks at his boots. Do you live here? A clear drop forms from the tip of his nose. He uses his glove to wipe it away. His movements are brisk, certain. I rent a suite on the second floor, just moved in yesterday. Her eyes are watering from the cold. Cool, he nods. How is it so far? I've been here one night and it was good, although this morning has been kind of weird. Really, he says, how come? There is a lull in the traffic and for a moment the day hangs clear, cold and silent around them. Well, to start off with, I was given a picture of the house with a chain of people praying around it. She watches as he holds his hands to his mouth and blows on them to warm his fingers. And then this man in an orange jacket came and started taking pictures of the house. An orange jacket like this one, he points to his own sleeve. Incredibly similar. His mouth turns to a grin. I'm taking pictures for my mom. She's a history buff. Her birthday is next week, he says. So I'm going around the city taking pictures of her favorite buildings. And this is one of her favorite buildings, Ruth asks, turning to look at the house. Yep. Really. She looks at the house's even balcony, green roof, carefully placed windows. I mean, it's nice, but favorite building nice? When, he turns, when she turns back, he is fitting the lens cap onto the camera. Do you know anything about its history? He sounds like he's trying to keep his question neutral. And as the lens cap snaps into place, Ruth feels that same unnamed organ move inside her. This time it seems to expand, to press against her diaphragm. She has to concentrate to keep her voice the same. Nothing at all, she says. Well, I guess I know a doctor used to practice here. She pauses, but now you have me curious. Fill me in. He grins and looks at her. Cute, she thinks, the way he shows reluctance. Ruth meets his eyes. I'm a big girl. 